Hey guys, so we're doing a full day of eating today. We're uh, about to do the first meal of the day. I've already got it all prepared here. Um, we're gonna run through all the macros of each meal throughout the day. I think I'm roughly eating like 6,000 calories from everything total. By the end of the day, I'll have a total for you guys. Um, but first meal we're gonna get into, this is actually gonna be my pre-workout meal today. Usually I eat this meal and then have a separate pre-workout meal later, but because we're training earlier, um, I just had time for one meal. So this is my regular breakfast meal. And what we're doing is 350 grams of egg whites. We got one whole egg, two English muffins. We've got about 65 grams of carbs worth of Korean rice. This is rice and grinds, um, so 80 grams of that. And then we've got 75 grams of banana, 10 grams of peanut butter, and then we've got eight ounces of apple juice, unsweetened apple juice here. So that comes out to about 170 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 60 grams of protein, roughly. Um, and so this is a pretty big meal, about 1,000 calories. I always start my day off with this. Um, and it really honestly goes down pretty easy between the English muffins and the cream of rice. It's just super easy to digest with the apple juice as well. And this will be good for me for my workout also. Um, just gonna move that pre-workout meal till later. You guys will see that later on in the day. So we're gonna get this down. we go to go train legs here in a bit. We'll see you guys for the next meal. So for leg day, I just do a scoop of Convict and a scoop of Lockdown. I don't do DNA Dispatch just because I've tried it and it though like the the Pico 2 helps with getting oxygen and stuff um, it's just too much pump and I end up cramping in my quads or something so the only day I don't take that is on leg day and I just take Convict Lockdown and then I do two grams two grams of Himalayan pink salt so the sodium is always going to help with contractions and pump so everybody I mean I've done this for years where I'll put salt heavily salt my pre-workout meal and then put salt in my pre-workout shake most people do that now um, but it's definitely very beneficial and you can even I even put a little bit in my intro workout a lot of times as well so we're just gonna do one scoop here I don't like a ton of stems so I just keep it to one scoop and then we're going to do a scoop of lockdown, get the creatine and your glycerol and the taurine. We're good to go. Alright, so post-workout meal. We're a little behind on meals today and I uh, lost some of meal one during legs. It's, it's coming to you. That's gonna get blurred out for the video. <laughs> Damn, Chris, this is what you be doing to people? As well as my pre-workout, puked it up, so that was fun. So uh, I packed some cream of rice, this is rice and grinds, um, 140 grams, about 105 grams of carbs, I believe. We've got 10 grams of peanut butter, um, no, 20 grams of peanut butter, that's about 10 grams of fat. We got 15 grams of carbs from fruit. We got 15 grams of carbs from honey on top of this. And then we've got 50 grams of whey. And then we've got 15 grams of carbs just from sourdough bread, just some extra carbs. So I believe, let's see, we got 105, 15, that's 120 plus 30. We got about 150 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, about 10 grams of fat or so in this meal. This is my post-workout. So it's going to be a lot easier digestible um, and then we'll move on to my chicken and rice meals next. All 
right, so meal three for today. It's a chicken and rice meal. We've got 370 grams of rice. That's about 105 grams of carbs. 175 grams of chicken. It's about 55 grams of protein from chicken. Um, then we got five grams of oil. It's five grams of fat. And then an added 30 grams of carbs from apple juice. So gonna get this meal down. The next meal is probably gonna be identical to this. I may add some of the sourdough bread to the meal instead of apple juice. We'll see, but the next one's gonna be almost identical. Deja vu, same meal, two hours later, same exact meal. This is bodybuilding. This is the monotony we talk about, but it's the consistency. So macros will be on the screen. Same exact meal, doing it all over again. Stop it. Do your dance. Do your dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Dude, what it's the so fuck? cute. It's so cute. Alright guys, so meal five, we're back at the gym again to uh, do some influencer stuff. <laughs> so getting some product shots and going over some uh, movement suggestions and, and tips and tutorials, real type, type stuff. So um, this meal was supposed to actually be my pre-workout meal, but w since we trained so early today, um, my breakfast meal was my first meal. So I just changed it up a little bit. We did uh, 45 grams of rice and grinds. I believe that's like 35 grams of carbs or something like that. We did 15 grams of carbs from bananas, 20 grams of peanut butter, that's about 10 grams of fat, and then 50 grams of whey isolate. And then we're gonna do uh, two uh, English muffins here, which comes out to about 130 grams of carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 68 grams of protein. So, um, gonna get this meal down. We got one last meal for the day, meal six. Um, but this is nice and light. You can just eat this and then do my influencer stuff. The main thing that's helped me grow my biceps this year is tempo. A lot of people, when they come into something like a curl like this, they're just moving the weight up and down, right? One of the biggest benefits to your training can be tempo and controlling the weight. Don't just come through and swing up actually flex that muscle. So you're contracting that muscle here, 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 here. You're contracting it all the way through the movement and flexing hard. That way, at no point you're losing that muscle because you're just swinging it and using momentum. Try that for your arms, guys. It's big for muscle growth. All right, so last meal of the day, it's been a long day, but we're gonna finish up with a salmon meal, salmon rice. Um, reason being, this would either be salmon or red meat for me. I like to have a fattier meat before bed. Uh, a lot of coaches do that, my coach does that, I do that for most of my clients. Slows down your digestion, it's just a better time to get more fats in, either at night or in the morning. Um, so we're doing 200 grams of salmon, it's about 25 grams of fat, 45 grams of protein. We're doing 320 grams of rice. I believe that's about 90 grams of carbs from rice. Then we've got 40 grams of sourdough bread. That's 20 grams of carbs. And then I've got the remainder of my carbs. I think it's about 25 grams of carbs, uh, about 200 grams weight of apple juice. And so to finish off, it's about 135 grams of carbs. 25-ish grams of fat and about 50 grams of protein. So this is gonna be the last meal and I'll give you guys a running total of what we're looking at for our day. It's about 5,800 calories, 860 grams of carbs, plus my intra shake, which I kinda didn't finish because I threw up, <laughs> would normally be 900 grams of carbs today. 90 grams of fat and about 385 grams of protein, just shy of 400. So that's what my days look like right now. That's a little bit pulled back from where it was. I was a little bit higher, more like 6,500 calories. We pulled it back just a little bit. It's much more manageable, but 
that's kind of what it takes to be a pro bodybuilder. Um, you got to eat a lot. A lot of people think that we eat smaller meals or eat like just huge portions a few times a day. It's like, no, we eat pretty big portions throughout the day, six times a day, seven times a day, sometimes more um, of clean food. And as you can see, to get those kind of calories from clean food is pretty hard. I could eat like a small pizza, slam it in about five minutes and get the same amount of calories, but from whole foods, it's a lot more difficult. But you'll see it in your physique. You'll look a lot better if you eat this way. And that's a full day of eating from me.